Giannis Antetokounmpo's GOAT Potential, The Greek Freak's Journey. Let's play Full Court, baby! Your go-to channel for the most interesting basketball topics. Giannis Antetokounmpo has always appeared to be too good to be true. When we first heard about him in 2013, he was the newest international mystery man in the draft. A scrawny Greek youngster who had developed out of nowhere to become a legit first round NBA prospect. The first public report on Antetokounmpo was written by Jonathan Givney of Draft Express, who compared his body to Nicholas Batum and Thabo Cephalosha and his game to how UCLA employed Kyle Anderson. As we discovered more about Antetokounmpo, we understood how great his personal story was. Giannis, the son of Nigerian immigrants, and his brothers were denied citizenship by the Greek authorities despite being born in the nation. Giannis could not leave the country for his first 18 years of his life and was functionally stateless, having no papers from Greece or Nigeria. They sold watches and sunglasses on the streets to help their parents make ends meet. Giannis and his older brother Thanasis were playing basketball in a park one day when a coach from a Greek basketball academy passed by on his bike. He gave them free admission to the academy. On May 9, 2013, he was granted Greek citizenship just over two months before the 2013 NBA draft. Antetokounmpo's draft report. As a teenager, Antetokounmpo rose to prominence in the basketball world. NBA scouts even flew to Greece to watch him play. Everyone was praising his court vision, ball handling skills, and decision-making abilities. Team officials, including general managers, also traveled to Greece to watch Antetokounmpo play in person. The 18-year-old Antetokounmpo was a big revelation among scouts, but many organizations were hesitant to choose him since he couldn't even get an invitation to the Nike Hoop Summit. How much of Antetokounmpo's current game was predicted by his draft report? The response is even more surprising. His key qualities included his physical tools, tremendous defensive capability, offensive adaptability, and future promise. Andy Decumpo showed exceptional physical abilities while being only 18 years old. His lanky build, enormous hands, and 7'3 wingspan, balanced with superb instincts, great court vision, and ability to play a variety of positions were also properly noted by draft evaluators. The biggest concern about Antetokounmpo entering the draft was his poor perimeter shooting. He had almost no mid-range or long-range game at the time. The forward's low release point made it simpler for defenders to contest his shots when he did shoot. But desperate for that elusive star, Bucks general manager John Hammond was willing to take a chance. The Bucks took Antetokounmpo 15th overall in 2013, knowing that there is another way to get a difference maker, steal him. The forward saw a significant growth spurt in the months leading up to the draft report, expanding 3 inches in 10 months. What draft analysts didn't expect was for Antetokounmpo's rapid growth to continue. Antetokounmpo, who was listed at 6'9 before the draft, grew to 6'11 within a year after entering the league. This development compensated for another apparent weakness, his strength and aggressiveness. Many experts questioned Antetokounmpo's ability to succeed in the more aggressive NBA because of his defensive inconsistencies. His journey might have ended like so many other failed foreign first round choices, Darko Milicic, Nikolaj Skidishvili, and Jan Vessel to mention a few. But Giannis continued growing, both practically and metaphorically. If teams could redo the 2013 NBA draft today, Ante Decumpo would almost certainly be the first pick. However, teams did not understand the extent of his potential at the time, and he dropped all the way to 15th place. Professional Career and Giannis's Road to Greatness He began his professional career by signing up to play for Phil Athletico's BC Junior Squad, a Greek professional basketball club. Soon after, he was promoted to the senior team of Phil Athleticos. Antetokounmpo was a standout in every aspect of the game, including rebounds, assists, and blocks. His exceptional and extraordinary sporting abilities drew the attention of top-tier European clubs. CAA Zaragoza, a Spanish club, signed him for four years for a yearly salary of 400,000 euros. Giannis Antetokounmpo, however, did not get a chance to play for Zaragoza because he was selected in the first round by the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo is now a two-time MVP and the recipient of the Defensive Player of the Year award. He can now add an NBA Championship and Finals MVP to his resume after leading the Bucks to victory. Giannis was a young, skinny, gangly Greek unknown before he became the Greek Greek. He was a ball of clay that needed to be sculpted, 
but no one knew what he could be shaped into. Most of the doubts regarding Antetokounmpo's effectiveness have long ago vanished. His frame became larger as he grew older. Antetokounmpo, who is still very slim and lanky, has the bulk and weight to compete with even the most physically threatening NBA players. Jason Kidd unleashing Giannis's potential as a floor general. Giannis Antetokounmpo is one of the most versatile players in the NBA, and with his unique body type and skill set, it's difficult to tell what position he plays. Milwaukee Bucks Sophomore Giannis Antetokounmpo enters the 2014 to 2015 NBA season with a new head coach, a new star player, a new owner, and even a new position. Jason Kidd, the team's new coach, wants Antetokounmpo to transition from small forward to point guard. Antetokounmpo was charged with controlling the offense as a point guard or, perhaps more correctly, a point forward in the early stages of Jason Kidd's term as head coach in Milwaukee. Giannis's ease with carrying the ball up the floor, his vision, and his selflessness in setting up teammates meant that it was a job he was extremely comfortable filling. In addition to studying from Kidd during the 2014 to 2015 NBA season, Gary Payton has stated that he will work with Antetokounmpo throughout training camp as he adjusts to playing point guard. Antetokounmpo is overjoyed at the prospect of learning from Kidd and Payton. He also recognizes that this is an opportunity that few players receive. During the 2014 Las Vegas Summer League, Kidd had Antetokounmpo play point guard and he stated he'll continue the experiment during the regular season. Antetokounmpo had a strong performance in Las Vegas. He got a lot of possessions that averaged 17 points, 5.8 rebounds, 1.8 assists, a steal, and a block per game. Giannis's passing skill has improved the greatest over the previous several seasons. It's not just the assist totals, it's Antetokounmpo's court vision, as well as the precision and firepower behind his passes. When he rushes into triple and quadruple teams on his way to the hoop, his kickouts strike the exact place and have his teammates locked in and ready to fire. In 2016, Kidd ultimately decided to fly his Greek freak flag. The third year player recorded his first triple double of the season. He finished the season with four more triple doubles and the Greek freak was awakened. The next season he got the largest contract in Bucks team's history. A four year, 100 million deal. The accolades and goat conversation. Antetokounmpo and the Bucks began a run of continuous team success in the 2018 to 2019 season. The Bucks started the season 7-0 under new coach Mike Budenholzer and finished 25-10 before the new year. Antetokounmpo was instrumental in his early success, garnering Eastern Conference Player of the Month honors in October, November, and December, as well as February. Antetokounmpo finally led the Bucks to a 60-22 record, the best in the NBA. He scored 41 points in a 127-104 win against the Detroit Pistons in Game 4 to help the Bucks move to the second round of the playoffs for the first time since 2001. Despite winning the first two games, the Bucks advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they were beaten four wins to two losses by the eventual champions, the Toronto Raptors. Antetokounmpo was awarded the NBA's Most Valuable Player at the 2019 NBA Awards. He became the second Bucks player to win MVP, following Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and the third youngest player to do it in the past 40 seasons, behind only Derrick Rose and LeBron James. Something special was brewing in Milwaukee, but Giannis, like so many other basketball heroes before him, had to suffer through the playoffs first. Antetokounmpo received another MVP award and guided the Bucks to the best record in the NBA the following season. Then the coronavirus epidemic came, and when the NBA resumed play after a nearly five-month hiatus, Giannis and the Bucks found themselves in the bubble. The Bucks were ousted in round two against the Miami Heat, a team that was well equipped to compete with them thanks to a fantastic coach and solid roster. The Bucks dropped the first three games and Antetokounmpo suffered an injury in game four before Miami completed a surprising gentleman sweep. After ending with the league's best record in consecutive seasons, seven teams, including two from their conference, ended up winning more games than the Bucks before the playoffs. Antetokounmpo came in fourth place in the MVP vote. Unlike the previous two seasons, the Bucks entered the playoffs this year with low expectations. The extension of Antetokounmpo removed some of the immediate urgency. For once, Giannis and the Bucks had some breathing room. It may have been the finest thing that ever happened to them. NBA Champions and Finals MVP 
Buck star Giannis Antetokounmpo scored 50 points, snatched 14 rebounds, and posted five blocks in a virtuoso performance, earning him the Finals MVP award. He is now a two-time NBA MVP, an NBA champion, and Finals MVP. He has deliberately and systematically constructed his game brick by brick, using one talent to enable another. He altered his game during the playoffs, whereas he spent the better part of three seasons as Point Giannis, carrying the ball up the floor and initiating the offense. He was asked to serve as an off-the-ball freight train in the playoffs, setting screens, driving to the rim and collapsing the defense on the move, where he's at his best. Rather than trying to play the kind of outside game that LeBron or Durant do, he's virtually Shaquille O'Neal in the physique of a perimeter player. Giannis's success is a credit to his remarkable work ethic, which allowed him to progress from a tiny youngster to an athletic freak. He should be held up on a pedestal for his motor. The fact that he stayed with a small market club that picked him rather than fleeing to play with other superstars adds to the significance of his triumph. At 27, Giannis Antetokounmpo is already one of the game's most decorated players, and many believe he has GOAT potential. While dethroning basketball's immortals requires a mix of dominance and longevity, Giannis is unquestionably on that path. Giannis went on to remark that he is obsessed with basketball and the relentless quest for improvement. This dedication has resulted in one of the most decorated resumes in NBA history. For a player who is only now entering his peak, while discussion about his GOAT potential are fueled by his exceptional accomplishment at his age, Giannis is more focused on being the greatest version of himself. We hope you enjoyed the video topic today. Subscribe to our channel, Full Court, for more interesting basketball topics.